Hi, welcome to lesson 3 of the Using MS Word Like a Pro course. My name is Heidi Mueller and I will be your instructor throughout the entire course. The goal of this course is to introduce you to some little known tools and tips that will take your word processing skills to the next level. In this third lesson, we will cover how to insert an image into a Word document and have the text wrap around that image, giving your document or newsletter a really professional look. In this lesson, we will work with a document called Professional Video Services 3.doc. You can find that in the exercise files. We will also need the image file called Canon Video Camera 1.jpg. So if you haven't downloaded these yet, uh, it's a good idea to pause the video and download them quickly. Adding photos to a document can really make it look more professional. To be able to do this effectively, one must have the show all and the show text boundaries settings turned on that we did in lesson one. Open the document and scroll down to the video, you know, let's scroll down, event videotaping section. We're going to insert an image, a photo over here, it talks about two Canon video cameras, we'll put a camera in there. Before we do that, let's get a little bit of background. I'm going to select that first P of Productions, and I'm going to make it bigger. Up on the toolbar, we have this button called Grow Font. So I'll click that a number of times. And you'll see as the character becomes bigger, Word pushes the rest of the paragraph down to make space for that large character. When we put an image in, it will do the same thing. It will treat the image like a large character and move the paragraph down. Well, let's reduce this back to normal. There are several ways, but just to practice our format painter method, I will highlight some text, soak up the formatting with my Format Painter, and paint over the P. Neat, huh? I know there are easier ways, but I thought it was a good idea to practice. So, putting the cursor back in front of Productions, that's where we're going to insert the image. We'll go to Insert on the ribbon, and over here in the illustration section, we'll click on Picture and navigate to where you've got your exercise files stored. In my case here, we have the Canon Video Camera, which is in HMD Training Example Word Course Exercise Files. You might have it on your desktop or in My Documents, wherever you've stored it. Locate this select it, and I have to move this up a little bit, click on Insert, and there is my photo, and sure enough, Word has pushed the rest of the paragraph down to make space for what looks like a large character to Word, the photo does. Of interest is now all of a sudden on the ribbon, we have a new section. We see it highlighted at the top called Picture Tools, and we have this Format tab with a whole host of tools for formatting of the image. We'll look at some of these others in a later course, but for now, we're going to focus on text wrapping. At the moment, if you click on the text wrapping button, you'll see in line with text is selected. That's why that little button is orange. Our photo is in line with the text like a big character. 
When you choose any of the other text wrapping options, Word actually takes the photo out of the flow of the text. We will choose square. And what Word has done, Word has taken that photo and placed it in a square and anchored it to the production's videotape with two Canon cameras paragraph as indicated by the little anchor symbol next to productions. Because this photo is in a square and it, I can now move it around, Word has taken the rest of the text and made it to flow into the space that has now become available. Uh, we call that text wrapping. I can take this square and move it wherever I want and Word will simply wrap the text into the space available. What I want to do though is line it up with the text boundary, which I can now see, and move it up a little bit. So I've moved it, it's, oops, not quite as much, up to there. This image is now anchored to the event videotaping paragraph. This is indicated by this anchor. So this square with the image inside is anchored to this paragraph. That's how Word determines where the square is located on the page. If I were to move this paragraph, then that image will actually go with it. So I'll highlight that and just drag it up somewhere. Notice that the image went with. Oh, of course, I don't want that. So I'll do undo, which is Control plus Z. So the image anchored to the paragraph and it's in a square all on its own. And it can be moved. You can do that with your arrow keys to nudge it nicely in position as you prefer. And I think that looks very nice. One way of checking to see whether the editing you've done is actually acceptable and nice is to look at your document in print preview mode. So just to remind you, and the office button, click and choose print preview. And this shows what the document will look like when it is printing. So all the margins and everything are hidden and I think it looks quite nice. This photo clearly adds to the document. When you've done viewing your document in print preview, again on the ribbon, simply click close print preview. And we're back to normal. So in this lesson, we've had a look at how to insert an image into a Word document and have the text wrap around the image using the text wrapping option on the ribbon. In the next lesson, we will discuss the change case tools in Word.